Hey folks, how's it going? This is um I don't I don't know if I've made any of these before, but this is a video about my bicycle that I want to get rid of. This one I don't know where the hell it came from. Or whose it is. But um this is my Huffy Iron Man. I think it dates back from the early 90s. I bought this, I think four years ago, from a guy in New Durham, right near the school, that uh, <coughs> he used to buy bikes, fix them up as a hobby, and sell them. So he had a ton of bikes there when, when I was there looking at this one. Um, I had a Roadmaster bicycle that I traded him towards this one and um, I don't see his ads on Craigslist anymore so I was gonna hit him up and see if he wanted to take this one back and trade for something else if he had something I liked. But it's a uh, an 18 speed, three gears in the front, or well, it's supposed to be six in the rear. This is a different back wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that has seven gears on it, so that makes it kind of a 21 speed. But the derailleur was never um, adjusted to you know, match up with the gears, so you always had to play with the shifter a little bit. <clears throat> but that's because I think the bearings were seized in the axle of the old wheel that was back there. I think I paid 35 bucks for it with tucking them down and trading the other one in for parts, because that one was wrecked. Um... This here is a little Sony speaker that I had attached to it with bungee cords, electrical tape, and this sock to absorb some of the shock. Um, wherever there was a little rust spot, I always scuff it down with uh, this 3M pad that I have and hit it with primer. So I did it back there and handlebars and probably the other side too um, there was nothing wrong with it to make me stop riding it but like I just don't like Huffies it's fairly light being the uh, titanium boron steel it went it went good no problem the shifter is broken I think this was uh, over the winter damage but I can't remember <clears throat> yeah I only rode it once last year and I haven't ridden bikes at all this year what I do want to do is next year get into uh, trail riding and maybe get a GoPro but um, I want to do that on something that's got a lighter frame and better gearing and this thing here is looking pretty good for that Although I'd have to figure out what the hell's up with that chain. Um, and that's, you know, like, I don't even know where that came from. It's got a speedometer on it. It's, oh my god, it's still working after it's been exposed to all this weather. That is incredible. Um, yeah. If I get one next year, it's going to be a good one. I may even look at them in a few weeks and start a payment plan of some sort. I think I'm going to get one of those things that mounts onto a trailer hitch. Because I've got a trailer hitch on the van. And uh, carry bicycles that way. And make a long ass trip. Ride some trails. Ride home. A camp for the night. You know, sounds like a good time. But, yeah, there's nothing... There was nothing wrong with this bike to make me stop riding it. I mean, the brakes worked. 
if I remember right. You know, everything is there. <clears throat> but we got to clean it up. Throw it on uh, one of the Facebook yard sale pages and get like 10, 15 bucks for it. I got my use out of it. I think one thing that uh, when I was negotiating the price for this bicycle was there had, there had been a uh, water bottle cage on it and the guy taking that off took like five bucks off the price. So, alright, you know, a little bit stingy in my opinion, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'll write in the description if this is sold or not when I actually do sell it, but I figured I'd just make a quick video of it. Yeah, so thank you for watching this little, I guess, showing, or whatever you want to call it, of my uh, Huffy Triathlon Pro Ironman bicycle. And um, I'll catch you on the next one.